everyone, it's Glenn here again. I'm hoping you're having a great day. Just here with the boat again. I'll just explain to you where I've been up to and all that just in a minute. Um, I'd just like to thank absolutely everyone that subscribed to my channel. It means the world to me. Thank you for sharing, liking my videos, even throwing me a message. It means a lot even helping me out. That's always great as well. So thank you very much for everyone that's subscribed to watching my channel. Um, but I'm just here with the boat again. Um, I'll explain to you what I've done, where I'm up to and the reasons why I was doing it, just to give you a quick explanation. Like I said, I'm still learning in this sort of boat, sort of a hobby. I had a boat previously. Um, it was a Nitro. But yeah, um, this is the first, gonna be the first electric. So, all right, let's get into it. So as you can see, I do have wood in here now. It is the same thickness, it's like a one ply. Roughly, um, I did cut it a lot longer than what the other one was. The other one was only like from say about here to about here, roughly, just enough passing where the where the straight prop um, shaft went. So I cut this a little bit longer. I'm just going to wax it or just um, you know use your wood sealant just over it, just to protect it a little bit more. Only because that will be glued to the bottom for stability, but also. I'll probably have my ASC sitting up top here as well. Um, I did re-glue the battery um, things here back in again now, so now it's strong again as well. So I didn't bother taking that out because I will be using that because I want all the weight towards the front to stop it from lifting up as much. Um, and now talking about that, I did cover the holes here, as you can see on the side here. Right here, you can see my fingers slightly on the other side with the light. Um, how I did that, I actually used this 3M. So 3M, the blue tape, it's like painter's tape sort of thing, so you put it around the edges and no paint will like seep through or leak underneath it. Um, I did end up putting a nice big chunk on the front of this, like one whole piece, only because I figured if I do it from the inside and have the tape on the outside, at least the aerodite, because that's what I've used, will actually shape to the outside of the boat, because the boat has that real light curvature just on the outside here. So that's why I've done the tape on the outside and just arrow dyed it on the inside. Um, now with you saying that, as you can see here, I did cover that as well. I did sand it back down to the, um, to the fiberglass. But as you can still see, the fiberglass is still very, very flimsy. So I'm hoping that when I glue this bit of wood into place, because it's gonna go all the way, oh, sorry, guys, sorry guys, girls. It's gonna go all the way up, not to the end, but it's gonna go up to, yeah, it's just gonna be up to roughly where that first hole is there. So at least that's gonna support it when I glue that down onto there. So it won't wanna try to push up. If it does, well then it's there supported. And that's the underneath of it there. I did put extra where these cracks were here. But um, if it does want to crack again, what I may do is drill a small hole in the very ends of the cracks there, and it won't go any further, and I'll just, I'll just close that up. Cover it up, and it'll be done. You won't have to worry about them ever again. But I don't think they're going to run, only because um, I'm going to be supporting the inside. And when the boat's on plane, it's only on these parts here. It actually rides, or it doesn't ride on this inner part here. So that's the other... That's the other reason why I'm not too worried about it. If it does bring a leak, well then at least I'll be able to get it back in without it sinking. Um, Cause like I said, it planes on these on this lower parts here than on the inside of it. So with that said and done, I'll show you what have, what's turned up and we'll discuss about that. So I'll put the boat back in view. So I did end up getting my good silicon hose that I was after. Um, now this one here, Where's the pack? I might open up one of the packet ones and I'll show you. I end up going nitro hose and I wasn't happy with how, because the holes just, it, I don't think it'd be big enough for how much water I want to pass through, as you can see. That's the hole there. So I ended up going this stuff here. As you can see, the hole's a lot bigger than what that, the, even the hose is a lot bigger, as you can see. A lot wider, a lot bigger, but also it still will fit. Where's this old? I got the old rudder here. But like this one here will fit on there. Very stretched though. 
as you can see, takes a bit to come off. This one here will still fit over there, but if you're a bit worried about it, because it takes, it still takes a little bit to come off, but if you're in, if you're in doubt, just whack a little bit of, um, like push that down even further, if you can, over the nut, and actually put a little bit of a cable tie, a small cable tie around there, and that won't pull up at all. So, but that, this hose here is um, four by six millimeters. You can buy it in one meter lengths, which I bought three meters. That's how, oh, that's the wrong one. That's how I, I bought, that's it there. So this is four by six millimeters, this hose. And I bought three mil, three meters of it, not one meter, because I think a little bit extra won't hurt. Um, it is, it's called heat proof, soft silicon wire cable for RC drones. It's actually on eBay. Um, it's taken me ages to find thick hose like this. And that's what I wanted. I wanted thick hose so then I can have more water pass in, in and out sort of thing. Instead of starving it for water with something this small. Like, don't get me wrong, this is still a good, good silica, like good fuel hose, but just not for the application that I want. So... Don't get me wrong, I still, I'll use this for my nitros or whatever else for the fuel, if that's an issue. But, um, yeah, I just wanted, I just wanted a lot more water flow than what this little bit here was going to, was going to give me. That's all. So, within saying that, that's what I'm going to be using, which they both will be going through these two holes here. So, I've, I did have my new rudder turn up. Um... I'll show you it now. It's all, it's all in one go, right there. So it's got the twin water pickup, which that's what I wanted. I'm gonna get. I'll take this off here. That's just bolted on, on here. So I'll just undo this bolt, take this out. But I'll put the bolt back in just for a bit more support there. Um, these here, they do fit into there without an issue. So that's another good thing. And I'll just have to change my steering from that side to this side. That's all I have to do, but if he's done know how to put a rudder on the back of a boat, I don't think he should have an RC boat. But if you're still curious um, what I'll do, I'll show you, I'll take these, I'm just gonna take these screw, the nuts off and we'll whack her on the back. But I also, instead of just using the plain screws, for me, personally, they're good enough, yes, but on the inside, I'd still like to have a flat washer before I put the nut back on. Only because a flat washer has a bit more surface area and won't want to try to pull the nut through the hole. But that's just me personally. You don't have to, I don't think. Um, it's whatever it's whatever you feel right in doing. So you do it, you know? Like, don't... If you say, well, it's no point doing that, well, don't do it. It's, it's each to their own sort of thing. That's what I like to do. I just like to be a bit more, how would I put it? I like to be a bit more fussy and picky on how I do my stuff. I just like a little bit extra support because when you are turning, there's still going to be a fair bit of force on the very back of this rudder that's going to turn your boat. So if you have that little bit of extra support inside there, it's going to stop that from wanting to flog out and pull through and you have that little bit more support for your runner. So as I said, I've got to change that from that side to this side here. This is just sitting here. As you see, the screws aren't in. There's only like one screw in or something, but that's how it's going to sit. This is coming out. I'm just going to take it off with that and put that bolt back in, only because I want to support this section here. I don't really want just the screws trying to hold onto everything. If I keep that closed, I guess it'll help the screws be a bit more supported in there. Um, but yeah, that's the rudder there. So that's what I'm running, and then I'll be having this tube here from here, and then tubes will go through these holes here. And they're actually a really tight fit, these tubes and these holes. So I really don't think I'll have to put anything in there, because once they're in there, I think no water's gonna get in at all. That's how tight it's gonna be, just to try to force it in. I may have to just bore it open just a little bit more, but that's what it's gonna look like. So now within saying that, I'll take it off. Now, and I'll just put these nuts back on so I don't lose them. Um, my next job on this boat is going to be probably the most difficult one. I'm just putting the nuts back on here, for guys, well, guys, girls. Um, just putting the nuts back on so at least I won't lose them. But yeah, the next job is going to be a little, 
probably a little bit harder. I'm gonna definitely do this on off camera. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be on there next week or so. That's the plan, but you know, everything changes. There's always, you know, you always make plans for something and other things always turn up that's, you know, like a little bit more important. The, oh, better get that done before I do that, you know? And that always goes on the back burner. But sorry guys, Um, also that, this rudder, the length of this rudder here is 110 millimeters. And the size of this little section here that holds on to your, cause your, um, your brass flexi cable will fit into this here, or into there, sorry, fits on there. And just that whole diameter there is 4.76 millimeter or 3 16 will fit. So this is all for the bigger setup. Um, also, but I'm not gonna do that center one now, so I have to buy these here. Now these guys here is still the 4.76 mil or the 3 16 and it's these little fellas here. So I've gotta I've gotta do a little template. Um, that's what I'm looking at doing, is maybe using the 3M tape, tape the end, punch the holes in that I need, and this hole here. And then what I'll do, I'll end up centering that right here underneath. So I'll try to get the dead center of that, put the template on there and drill the holes. But then also you need an extra hole up the top. Wait, I'll flip this on its roof. Hold on a second, guys. I'll just do this. Get that out. This might be a little bit easier. It's just that my table's not that big and the boat's big, so it just makes it a little bit more harder to show you. So as you can see here, this here will be sitting like so. Um, it'll probably be more there than anywhere, because that's like the deepest part. But within saying that, this section here can actually twist. So I'm guessing you probably don't have to exactly have it like that, straight down. You could probably have it on the side like so. And it should still do the same job. Now with this section here, this is gonna fall. With this little section here, told you. Little section here, there's two, there's a plate on top. We unscrew these here. And then this plate actually sits inside the boat. And this feeds through. As you can see, it's adjustable. So you can have it high and low. Um, little grub screw there, so you can adjust it. But this here will fit inside the boat, and this little bit, this little metal bit on top will actually go inside the boat, and this all screw together. So that there, that little top bit here, will actually go into this section here, if you can see right about here somewhere. So that means we've got to fit this, and then we've got to fit this. Roughly, roughly about there somewhere. Like so, but then it's got to be straight as well. So, within saying that, I do have a fair bit of room, whoop, right down inside the guts there, if you can see that. I do have a fair bit of room in there for my fingers. Um, I wish it was more, but it isn't. Now I've stuffed myself up, just don't look at the phone, no, don't look at the TV if you get motion sickness. I've got my hands full, my camera's gone all bung. So yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's the plan for that. Because this does unscrew. I'll bring these back so these aren't exactly, there you go. So this here does unscrew, like so. And that just, whoop, and that does come off, that does come off, just so you don't damage it. So you'd probably be able to get a little, so you'd be able to do that, mark it, without having this whole section attached. And then, yeah, you put it all back on. So that bit that fell off will sit on the ball, pretty much, because it's got a little indentation I don't know if you can see that. Just there, that'll sit on there like so. This part will sit on there, and then that part will come up. And with that cross threading it, just slowly screw it up. Like so. And that's how it'll be. Um, I'll probably end up wheel taking this top section off. Because uh, like I said, I still need to get that sitting flat. And then adjust this how I want it. If I want it up, down. If I want it deeper, shallower. I just got to undo that little grub screw there and I'll be able to adjust it however low and high I want it. Um, I'm thinking as straight as possible will be better. That's roughly how it's going to look, give or take. 
just like so. Um, this is what I'm using now. These are these are the um, 4.76 millimeter or 3 16 flexi cable and tube and all that. Um, I'll take that out. That's your cable there. Now the tube, as you can see there, will fit straight into there. Just like so. That's it, it's in. That's in. I haven't even got it. If you can see my other hand here, that's in there. See, there it is there. So that's the tube in there, and that's how it sits. I guess you'll be able to push that little bit of um, the silicon, the white silicon bit inside there, in a bit deeper in there. And then, you get your flexi shaft, and through the front of this, just feed her up through just slowly so you don't bind it up. I always twist mine backwards and forwards just to help it. And then it'll give you roughly how much you'll need because that's maxed out there. So I might be able to, yeah, that's as far as the shaft will go and it won't go any further. So I may have to cut a bit of tubing off the end just so I've got a little bit more meat for my, um, for, where is it? Oh, a little bit of meat so I can actually grip hold of that that goes to the motor. So that's pretty much gonna sit just like so, just like that at the back. If you can see that and then, but see that goes, if I put that say roughly about here, arguments say it could be roughly there. See how far it goes up, it actually passed these holes. It's actually right here. So, that's why I'm saying that I think it might be a little bit long, but then I'm not sure if I'm not sure if it's a bad thing having a little bit more weight up front because that there would be roughly that would be better, yeah. So it would be rough, would be roughly about there. Just don't know if it's a bad thing having most of the motor because you're going to have you'll need a little bit of play here, so it probably has to be chopped back. So I'll probably be up to this black section here. But I don't know if it's a bad thing actually having the motor right up next to the batteries and running your motor that way. Then having everything sitting all the way down the back here where, you know, like if you punch it, you don't really want the front lifting up. Because I'm going to have my ESCs and stuff running through here as well. So it's something I'm going to look at. Um, if you've got any suggestions or what you would recommend on doing, if you reckon I should shorten this shaft. Um, just so the motors will sit, I don't know, here, maybe, midway. Well, let me know, let me know. Um, I'm just not too sure at this present time, that's why I'm still ifing and umming about it. But first thing I'll be doing first is I'll be installing these. Once they're installed, then I'll be able to put them in and then sort them out roughly where I wanna chop them off. Um, that's where I'm up to at the moment. Just, yeah, like I said, it's just one of those things that I want to take my time in doing. Um, I am ordering parts for it. It's just taking a while to get here. Um, the other trick I used as well was these things here. As you read correctly, it's Nutella. They're those little Nutella packets that everyone's probably seen here in Australia anyway, um, that kids take to school. So I actually use, it, use these little paddles to actually put the aerodite on because they are very flimsy. And then when you put it on, you'd be able to just bend it. You get what I mean? Like push it on and get it all fit and nice and snug on there. That's what I've been doing. Um, I've been trying to look for something good. And at the moment, I am, I'm actually quite liking the Nutella little paddles here that that I'm just cleaning off at the moment. Um, that. I used on here, which have made life a lot easier. They do flex, yep, they do bend, bow, and that's what you like. You like to have that little bit, you know, little bit of flex on them and you'll be able to, yeah, be able to like take off all the excess, you know, if you want to flatten it out. So, but that's what I've been using as well. So, uh, just trying to have a look and see if I'm forgetting anything. I'm not forgetting the end of the dog, dog, oh my goodness, end of the prop. I've got these little, I've got a, I've got two here. I think they're called like the dog or something like that. They are the little, the propeller holder there, propeller holders. It's got a little seal there as well. 
Um, but yeah, I'll end up putting all that in and sorting that all out when I have that shaft in there. At least I don't know how much, how much to take off and yeah, and sort out. So, but within saying that, um, that's it at the moment. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really done too much because just work and kids are home from school, school holidays. That's the other, it's another good one. Yeah, I know I'm blaming a lot of things on other things and, but yeah. But once, hopefully, once I have time, I'll actually I'll have time of patience and actually time to concentrate. I'll try to put these in myself without stuffing it up, hopefully. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully the next video, I'll have them on, the little shafts in. Um, maybe, oh, you know what? I might be able to paint the boat once I have these drilled out, lined up perfectly. I'll probably even have the boat spray. I don't know. Don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we go. When we get, we'll we'll get to that stage when we get to it, I guess. But that's yeah. That's what else we've got to do as well. Cause I don't really like this sort of a colour. I've sanded it back, as you can see. It's a bit rough, but once I spray it, I'm gonna spray it this green, the PS8, the light green. So gonna spray that this colour. I got four tins just in case two wasn't enough. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to spray it until after I drill the holes and get everything lined up because it's just You know, you'll end up spraying. It looks all nice. You got to drill a hole here or a hole here But it also I've still got to try to figure out where I'm gonna have my water outlets That's the other issue as well. So I'll probably have to try to figure out before I paint where I'm gonna have them um, Oh Or I could just paint it and just you know be very careful when I'm drilling it so I don't crack the paint which shouldn't crack because I've sanded this down pretty good so it should be able to hold pretty well on there without cracking or flaking but I guess if it does I'll be able to cover the boat up and just spray that little section you won't notice the difference so but we'll see what happens when we get there um yeah so thanks everyone for watching thanks for subscribing um hopefully we're on our way of building this boat now we've got stuff that we need just to make a start um yeah and we'll go from there slowly slowly so thank you for subscribing, liking, watching my videos, and I'll see you on the next movie, I guess, or next video. Okay, bye.